You're going to lay your binding strip that you already made down on your quilt. A few inches from the corner. And then you're going to go down and start stitching about three or four inches from the corner of your quilt. You're going to back stitch when you start. And then you're going to just sew along the edge of your quilt a quarter of an inch seam up to the corner and stop a quarter of an inch from this edge of the quilt. If you have a needle down feature, this is a nice time to use it. You're going to turn it at a 45 degree angle and sew out to the end of the quilt. Pull it off and trim. Now turn your quilt top now. Now that we've sewed our binding to the corner, we're going to fold it back at a 45 degree angle and then back straight down with the edge of the other edge of our quilt that we're ready to sew. Hold it in place. Start at the corner, back stitch and continue along the edge of the next side of your quilt. You could pin it if you feel more secure, but if you just sew along carefully, you should be fine. But do what works best for you. So we're going to go back down. We're getting close to our next corner. Make sure you keep that on the edge. Okay, then when we get to our corner, again, we're going to go to a quarter of an inch from the edge of the next part of our quilt. Turn it. Go out at a 45 degree angle and trim. Again, turn our quilt top, fold it back up at our 45 degree angle, like so. Then fold it straight back down with the edge of our quilt. And you want that to be even right along that edge and right along this edge. Place it under our foot at the edge again and start sewing. We're going to continue on down to our next corner. You can see I just kind of hold it with both hands to keep it even and feeding correctly. Remember to watch the edge of your foot keep it aligned with the edge of your quilt. Okay, so we're coming down to our next corner. We're going to sew down to a quarter of an inch from this edge. We're going to turn it, sew out to the corner again, pull it out and trim it. Turn, fold back up at our 45 degree angle. Fold it straight back down. Keep that edge even, this edge even. Place under the foot. And continue to sew. Remember you can practice. So you can make little um, quilt sandwiches and quilt on them, practice your quilting and then sew a binding on it and make a hot pad or just practice just to learn how to do it. All sewing's just practice. Okay, we're going to come back up to our corner to a quarter of an inch from this edge and you could even take and Mark with a pin where a quarter of an inch is or with a little pencil mark if you're not sure. Put your foot back down and sew out to the edge. Pull it out and trim it. Ok, 
Okay, this is our last corner. So again, we're going to do exactly what we did before. We turn it up at our 45 degree angle. Pull it straight back down. Make sure that's even and this side's even. Now this time, we're just going to sew down a little ways from our corner. We don't want to sew right to the um, right to the end of where we started on the first corner, so we're going to back stitch. You can see I just went part way down. Okay, this is what you want to. This is how I'm going to show you how to connect the two together. Okay, we're going to take and our first tail here that we started with, we're going to take that and pin it even with our quilt top and make sure that it's smooth and even. We're going to take the other side here, the last end, and we're going to pin that one down. And where they meet right here on the top, can you see that? Where they meet? We're going to place a pin right where they come together, where they meet. And then you can take these pins out. Okay, now we have a pin right there, and we're going to pull that back towards the last corner of our quilt. We now have the pin that we marked where our two ends met. And we're now going to place our ruler on top of our binding strip. And this is very important. You need to pin, your pin needs to be two and a half inches away from where you're cutting, if that's the width of your binding. Whatever the width of your binding is, is the distance from the pin. That Since my binding strip was two and a half, I have two and a half inches from where I'm going to cut from my pin. So whatever your binding width that you cut, the binding strip was cut at, that's the amount you need to pin away, or cut, I'm sorry, away from your pin. Okay, so I'm going to trim that. I'm going to remove my pin and just watch how we do this. We now have our binding strip and we want to fold it back on top of itself, okay? Going towards the last corner or the, the right hand side of your quilt. Open up your binding like this. You can pull it down and fold it back down at a 45 degree angle like so and finger press it. If you have one of those little wooden irons you could use that. Now you've got a line right here can you see that that goes at the 45 degree angle? You're going to bring your other end, the one that you started with, keep it flat and straight with your quilt top. You're going to open it up with the right side of the fabric open. You're going to take the binding strip that we just folded and make sure it stays even and straight so it doesn't twist with your quilt top. Open it up, lay it on top of there. You just kind of have to bend it around because you've got that quilt top there. So here's the underneath the the strip that we started with. This is the strip we ended with. Here is the the line that we folded, the 45 degree line. We want to pin that together. I usually use a couple pins and then just kind of open it up to make sure that you haven't twisted your binding, that it goes straight along the edge of your quilt. Okay, now take that to the oh. You're now going to place that under your foot. Get it so you can see the line. You could mark it with a pencil if you want. Okay, we're going to take and place that under our presser foot. We're going to want the needle to sew right on the line. I drew a little pencil line on that um, fold just so you could see it. Kind of 
kind of hold your tails when you start and then they won't go down in your bobbin remove your pins don't sew over your pins because you might hit that with a needle just keep it on there nice and smooth and sew out to that point okay we're now going to remove that from the foot and trim it even get the tails off and now before you do any tr more trimming make sure again that you stretch that out with the edge of your quilt top your quilt to make sure that it's not twisted once you've done that you can either trim it with a rotary cutter and a ruler or you can just rough cut it a quarter of an inch and what I do now you could take that to an ironing board and press that or you can press it with your finger open fold it back over and you're ready now if you want you can go ahead and pin that to make sure it's even but I'm just gonna sew it on without I again I'm gonna back stitch when I start I'm just gonna sew along keeping my foot even with the edge of the quilt so just go to where you started and back stitch Pull it out and trim it. You're going to take it now and trim all the the corner threads where you stopped and started and get that all trimmed off and then we're going to go to the ironing board and do some pressing. 